Okay, everybody, this is the second triangle. It is 45, 45, 90 degree triangle. Um, the sides are proportional to each other, and I'll explain that in a second. Start with the um, how the 45, 45, 90 can be thought of. If you start with a square, and you know the properties of a square, meaning all the sides are the same, congruent, and all of the angles are congruent. And then I draw a diagonal. I get this second triangle here. So the side lengths are the same. The diagonal cuts the 90 degree angle into two equal parts. That's where the 45, 45, 90 comes from. So staying with that thought, if I want to find this third side C, I can again go back and use Pythagorean theorem. And both of these are 5. So I would have 5 squared plus 5 squared is equal to C squared. So that's 25 plus 25 is equal to C squared. So then combine my terms, 50 is equal to C squared. If I take the root of both sides, I'm going to get root 50 is equal to C. Remember, I took the root of both. And then when I simplify that, I can factor the root 50 into 25 times 2. And again, that's still equal to C. And I substitute 25. The square root of 25 is 5. <laughs> root 2 stays right where it is. And then I've got C squared. Okay, and then so lastly, if you can see, I drew an arrow here. If these two sides are 5, then the diagonal or the hypotenuse is root 2 times whatever that side is. So the relationship of the sides to the angles, since you have two 45 degree angles, the sides opposite those angles are going to be equal, and that makes this triangle isosceles. So those two are the same. And then whatever this side is, the hypotenuse is always root 2 times whatever that side is. And we just solved that or proved that with Pythagorean theorem. So this is called a 45-45-90 triangle, or it's called an isosceles right triangle.